What's, what's going on YouTube? Today on Mars World Monday we'll be taking a look at Need for Speed Payback, which is a far better game than what I ever heard it was. A lot of that probably has to do with the fact that all the over-aggressive loot boxes are gone from the game. Another thing I really enjoy is that even though all the cutscenes are now rendered in CG and not in real time like they used to be, the characters seem main way more realistic and grounded in reality instead of that 90s teenage cartoon BS that you used to get where everybody was exaggerated and just seemed fake. The cast of characters this time is a lot smarter than it usually is but each one of them seems to be fleshed out a lot more. Whether it be um, Morgan, the main character, he does your street racing and your drag racing mostly. Then you got your um, other characters like Jess. She's mainly an enforcer and fights off the cops. And um, your other, I forget the name of the other buddy right now. But he's pretty cool because he does all the off roads and you get to do massive, massive jumps. He's from the UK. He's pretty cool too. Then you got Lena. She was your childhood friend growing up who was always second in place to you. So to get over on you, she decides to sell out to the um house they're the main villains of the story and pulling a string behind all the background and a lot of stuff builds up like that and then a little bit later introduced to the gambler he's kind of there whenever she screws you over to help you redeem yourself and build yourself back up in the city the city is the other main character it's of course a reimagined version of las vegas and the surrounding desert areas where you'll battle against many groups the way they like to say the off-road drag racing you're doing all these cool drifts the drifts on here really remind me of the old undergrounds they were really good games and this is actually a whole lot better game than i heard it was so yeah your buddy's name is mac he's a black guy from the uk he usually ends up being in a lot of the um annoying um comical sections because he's pretty level-headed and got a, a pretty good sense of humor I love playing with um, this character because he gets all your rally cars like the Lancers and stuff. I got a picture on Instagram where I was about 40 feet above um, a billboard sign. You know, the billboard signs, they're 20, 25 feet in there. So that was pretty cool. And he always seems to be involved with getting knocked around unless it's the police. When it's police, then that's Jess. And now... Um, that's another thing I want to talk about. The police in here are a huge step up from the 2015. 2015, they seemed like they were punks. You could just like just trash them like they were nothing on here. And of course, you further get in a game, the more challenging they get. But they pull out those rhinos and start beating the hell out of you. And just like stomping you out. I had to restart so many times on that. It was deep in the game before I had to start restarting. And the police is why I had to do it. But it was really fun once you get used to it. It's a good little challenge and you'll enjoy yourself on that one. The structure of the game is you go through and um, you race with each of the characters and their kind of events against um, different levels, of course, as you go along as squads. You'll do five to seven races and then you'll do a final race against that squad's boss. And once you do that, you'll unlock all kinds of stuff. Like you unlock the new cars. The progression system in here is really good. Like the upgrades, both um, performance and visually, are extremely deep. You get all the custom parts that you get to use and stuff. You also have to sit there with like strobe lights pulsed under your car, or whatever headlights you want. Cool combination. I mean, it's probably very rare whenever this game was online that you saw people using the same things. Uh, to me, the biggest um, structural downside of this game is it's trying to be Forza Horizons too much. I mean, it's got the barn finds, it's kind of got that whole festival feel to it sometimes. And the fact is, I'm sorry, you ain't gonna out Forza Horizon, Forza Horizon. Just be yourself, be your own game, which in a lot of other areas this game does do that. But it's just, it does that too much. Now towards the end of the game, your main goal is you're running towards the, um, this big like dragon uh, dragon ball saying dragon ball this um cannonball type run where you'll use multiple vehicles across different stages and um like you I, I use the rally car at the end of the race which you get subbed in with lena you end up using i used my new acura nsx the one i say the beauty is the beast it's sky blue and it's gonna come after you 
this game has a good variety whether it be the environments where you're in the Vegas type city or you're on the outskirts where you're driving around the dam down into the valleys running through um, uh, solar and wind farms and stuff like that or it's the cars where you'll have old muscle cars and of course you have your import tuners and your exotics then you'll have the big trucks you can go barrel on through the sides of the country with and the, the graphics pop they've got really good colors it's not as realistic looking as 2015 but they went for a different kind of style and i actually kind of enjoy it you know i do miss the night lights of 2015 too now, story wise, you are Tyler Morgan, the main character, but you're also your crew of Mac and Jess. He's like your best friend, your bro, and she's like your big sister. And um, then Lena, like I said, she was your friend from back in the day, but she screwed you over trying to get big because she was a poor kid from the barrio, as she says. And she's like, she's like always trying to do screwed up stuff. Like she blows up your house at one point to try to send you a message. She kind of put travel bombs in cars because she knows you're gonna steal them. The action set pieces in here, uh, they're pretty big. Like you, you think of what you would see. Um, not, I mean, there's not like guns everywhere, but it's pretty big, like um, Call of Duty style back in the day. It reminds me of what, um, you, you know, Fast and Furious was before. It got way too away from actually the street racing, which was its main core when it first started and what made it big. One place I'll say I think the team probably can stand toe to toe with Forza is in the livery maker. Now, I'm not one of these people that builds these real nice professional ones. There's some on here I've downloaded that look like it was made by the developer. You would see on a real car and be like, not be like, no, that ain't my ride. You'd be like, yeah, that's my ride right there, homeboy. And I, I mean, there's some really creative people on here. Like, I'm trying to out that game dreams right now. That's more along my style. But I mean, of course, it ain't that deep. But still, that's pretty fun. Overall, I'd say since they got rid of the loot boxes and the way it's set up, this is a way more believable um, story and easier to follow because you're not like overcrowded with a bunch of characters that really don't matter. I'd say pick this game up, you find it on sale. I got it for like five bucks, and I, I got five dollars out of this, like probably about five times over at least, probably a lot more than that. Anyways, that's all I got for you for now. If you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe, and have yourselves a wonderful week. I'm gonna try to do the same.